Hello, dear students. The topic I'm going to take up today is for the students of class 12 from their geography book, India, People and Economy. And the name of the chapter is Land Resources and Agriculture. Dear students, we have already discussed about this chapter and the portion which we have covered till now is what is land use and what are the different uses of land. We have already discussed the crop seasons also, that which three seasons are there and which different crops are grown under these three seasons. So dear children, now the portion of the chapter which we are going to take up today is the various crops. So the first category of the crops which we'll take up today is the food crops. Now what are food crops? You must be knowing children. The crops which we basically use as the main food in our daily diet. And the few examples are there, rice, wheat, pulses and coarse grains. Now regarding the rice, it's the most important food crop of India, which feeds more than half of our population. India is the second largest producer of rice in the world after China. Now, few interesting facts about rice. 22% of the world's rice eating population is in India. 29% of the total rice area of the world is also in India. 23% of the cropped area of India is occupied by rice. Since India is a land of variety, so about 3,000 varieties are grown in different agroclimatic regions of India. So children, the concept about the agroclimatic regions might be clear to you. So that the area where we have the different climatic conditions with the different combination of temperature and rainfall, and of course the physiography. So those areas, they are known as the agroclimatic regions. Now, we'll take up that what conditions are required for the production of rice. So as you know, it's a tropical plant, which requires high temperature and high humidity. We have already discussed that rice cultivation comes under the Kharif season. So the concept must be clear to you. So when we say Kharif, so that means the production of the crop starts with the onset of the monsoons. So the temperature conditions required for the rice are around 24 degrees Celsius mean monthly temperature and the rainfall 150 centimeters of the annual rainfall is required for rice. Children, mind it, it's a crop which requires water at every stage. Maybe it's a growing or cooking or even after eating rice, we require more amount of water. It is an irrigated crop in the areas where the rainfall is less than 100 centimeters. As far as the soil is concerned, deep, fertile, clay or loamy soils. So when I say clay, so that means it's a type of clay soil which can retain moisture for a longer duration. It is predominant crop in the flood plains and the river deltas because these are the areas where the humidity is present in abundance. Plenty of labor is also required for this crop because we have to transplant the paddy from the nursery to the field which is full with the water. Look at the screens children. You can have a visual of how the paddy is transplanted in the field full with the water. And on the side of that you can see the crop in the field. Yes, here is a map children which shows the areas which are the basic producers of rice in India. You see the coastal areas and the northern Indias, which is basically an Indo-Gangetic plain. These are the areas which go for the production of rice in India. Now, we take up the second important food crop, that is wheat. As we did, that rice comes under the Kharif season. 
whereas the wheat is a rubby crop and is sown soon after the withdrawal of the monsoons in the last week of October or the early November. It's the second important food crop of India after rice. India is the fourth largest producer of wheat in the world. It's a staple food of the people of the northern India and of course the western part of the country also. The people go for the food which is known as a wheat. It accounts for 14% of the total gross cropped area. So that means the area which we did for the rice that is much more than the area which comes under the wheat. Now we take up the climatic conditions which are required for the production of wheat. 10 degree temperature is required at the time of sowing and 15 to 20 degrees of the temperature is required at the time of ripening. And when you talk about the rainfall, very less amount of the rainfall that is 50 to 70 centimeters average rainfall. But of course, with the sufficient irrigation, they are the areas which are best suited for the production of wheat. Now, as far as the soil is concerned, well-drained loamy and clay loam are considered to be the ideal for the production of wheat. So when we say children well-drained, so that means the stagnant water is not required for the production of wheat. Cultivation of wheat is highly mechanized. Now we can compare this with the production of rice. As we did, rice is a labor intensive crop, whereas the wheat is highly mechanized. So when we say highly mechanized, so that means not much labor is required for the production of wheat. This is a wheat sample which shows that how the wheat is there when it is fully ripened in the field it looks like. Now, on the screens, children, you can have a visual of the map. The map showing the areas which go for the production of wheat. So you can see the northern India and of course the western part of India, including some parts of Rajasthan, Maharashtra and even the Gujarat. They go for the production of wheat in India. Now. Another crop which comes under the food crops we take up, that is jowar. You might have not used it as a food crop, but this is very common in certain areas. It's the third largest important food crop in India after rice and wheat. It provides substantial food to people living in dry areas of Deccan Plateau. It is used as a fodder in several parts of the country. As we did for the rice and wheat, rice under Kharif and wheat under Rabi. But this Jawar crop, which is another food crop, comes both under the Kharif and Rabi seasons. Now, the climatic conditions required for the production of Jawar. The temperature varying between 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius is required. Annual rainfall required is 45 centimeters only, as we have already discussed that this is a crop which comes under the dry areas. So that means not much amount of rainfall is required for the production of this crop. It grows well if the irrigation facilities are available in the areas. As far as the soil is concerned, this can be grown in the variety of soils children. For example, red soil, yellow soil, loamy and alluvial as well. Maharashtra is the largest producer of jowar with 51% of the total India's produce. So besides Maharashtra, the other states are Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, and Gujarat. Now look at the screens. You can have a visual of the crop jowar and how it looks like. Now the another food crop which we are going to take up is bajra. Children, I would like to ask you, have you ever eaten bajra as a food crop? Maybe the children who are living in the northern parts may say no, but the areas 
where the conditions are dry, the main crop grown is bajra and people really enjoy the bajra roti with chach and the curd. Now we take a bajra, it serves as food for the poor people and fodder for animals. For jowar also we have done children, that that is the crop which is both used as a food as well as fodder. The temperature conditions required are 25 degrees Celsius to 30 degrees Celsius and the annual rainfall required is also very less, that is 45 centimeters only. It can grow on poor, light, sandy soil. So children, when we say poor, so what do we mean by poor? The poor in fertility. So the soils which are not very rich in the nutrients, they can even go for the production of bajra. The main producers of the crop are Rajasthan with 53% and Maharashtra with 14% followed by Gujarat, Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Now on your screens you can have a visual of bajra. Now the another important food crop is maize. It is an important coarse grain which contains glucose and starch. As far as the climatic conditions are required, the temperature 21 degrees to 27 degrees Celsius is best suited for the production of maize and the rainfall required is only 75 centimeters. When we talk about the soil, the loamy soil of the plain areas is fit for the production of maize. Maize is an important crop in the eastern Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Punjab and some mountainous regions such as Jammu and Kashmir and Himachal Pradesh as well. Now we take up another crop which is known as pulses. Children you must be knowing that the people who are purely vegetarian, for them the source of protein is only pulses. So that's how the pulses, they are known as a source of protein in the diet of predominantly vegetarian people of the country. Pulses are widely produced in Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha, Bihar, Haryana, etc. And pulses are grown both as a kharif as well as rabi season. So when we say that it is grown in the kharif season, the important pulses are arhar, moong, urad. So children, you might be able to identify how these pulses they look like. And under the rabi season, the grams, peas, masoor, etc. These are few pulses which come under the rabi season. Now children, till now, we have talked about the food crops which have grown in India. And the basic food crops which we have discussed till now are rice, wheat and the millets. Millets means the coarse grain under which we have done jowar, bajra and maize also. And besides that we have done the pulses, production of pulses. The climatic conditions required, the areas which produce these crops and of course the conditions under which these crops are grown. Now, in our next lecture, we'll be taking up the another group of crops, that is the fibrous crops, as well as the beverages. Thank you. Mm -hmm.